I remember seeing a poll about some of the most and least favorite Pokemon, and Simipore was pretty low. So I looked into Simipore and realized that there was a set that only Simipore could run. I tested out this set with various different berries, Keyberry, Moringa, Citrus, Chesto, Starf. They all worked pretty well. But the Citrus needed to be on Drift Bloom, so I had to adjust it, it a couple times. Now, some people know Drifloom as being set up, but Lanoon is more of a mystery to them. They think Belly Drum, Extreme Speed, something like that. Accelerock onto Drifloom. I really, really wanted to get, give Drifloom the weakness policy, but I wasn't sure I could always get it off before the simple ability activates. And I also wasn't sure if it could survive the first turn onslaught from two opponents. So simple, I mean, so chess, sorry. So, the Citrus Berry was the best option overall. Lanoon, it has the Flame Orb. That was a bit of my counter Tailwind. Because Lanoon, if it's burned, poisoned, whatever, its speed doubles. So, that makes it an extra bit of support. It also knows the Growl and, I believe, Snarl. It's been a while since I've used this team. Drift Bloom, it's now at max evasion, but then I realized the Lycanroc can have the ability Keen Eye. That could be a really big problem because it bypasses accuracy and evasion stats. Sorry, just evasion. And with his sword stances, I was afraid he was actually going for something here. But even though this guy apparently knows the game well enough to, to hunt for shinies, he is not as competitively minded as one might think. He's He either does not have the keen eye ability, or he's unaware of its full effects. Aegislash comes in when Lanoon goes down, and I pull off the immediate King's Shield. Lycanroc, however, went for the Sword Stance instead of something like, I believe it learns Drill Run, maybe? But then again, this was back in Sun and Moon. I doubt it was... A move tutor back then. Driftblim, it's now at max evasion. It's at plus four defenses thanks to that stockpile. It's already used up its citrus berry. Lycanroc, it's now at max attack. If it has the keen eye, now is the time to strike. Actually, last turn was probably the time to strike. Plus two on a rock type super effective stab hit would have been enough to take out the Driftblim. But he doesn't apparently have keen eye, and he goes for the baton pass. In comes the Simipor. Now, I mentioned Starfberry earlier. That's because this monkey has access to Gluttony. However, I haven't had a test, chance to test Gluttony, Recycle, while staying in the yellow. I didn't know if Starfberry only activated when it takes damage or not. Because I kept either... Surviving above the green or being knocked into the red and having to rest back up. So this hippie monkey, it has the toxic. And he switched out his plus six attack, maybe a keen eye lichen rock, for a type null, likely Evilite, that could resist the Garchomp's earthquake. And there's my metal sound. You might recognize this each slash from a couple other sets. I like to just have some stock Pokemon that work well with each other. Another King's Shield. Simipore goes for the Scald. That metal sound. Garchomp's part ground. Not quite enough to hurt a lot, but it's really dropped him into the red. Type Null. It has a Sword Stance as well, so it traded a possibly Keen Eye Lycanroc. That was shiny. For a Sword Stance Type Null that is shiny. I go into my blade form, because this is the variant that had the Shadow Sneak. Like I said, later builds, I replaced it with Shadow Ball, because Metal Sound benefits off that. Simipore, I went for the Scald onto, I believe, the Garchomp, which got redirected onto the Type Null. Sword Stance again. And I know that I am vulnerable in blade form. Especially against a plus four type null 
and an Arcanine, which did not have Intimidate. So not only did he hunt for the Shiny, he hunted for the Shiny with the Hidden Ability, which meant SOS or Breeding. And he is basically showing off his collection online without any real strategy behind it. I use the King's Shield, and he does not read that Aegislash does not like being in blade form and loses plus two, and he loses two attack off of that. I Scald again. Arcanine, it's down. The Type Null, it's low as well. It uses the Flame Charge onto the Aegislash. Apparently being a tank is not enough. It wants to be a fast tank as well. Aegislash survives in the red. Goes into attack mode and pulls off the flash cannon. This will be an easy pickup since it's already in the red. Even Eagle Light cannot take off that much damage. Type Null, it goes down. Time to bring back in the Lycan Rock. He should anticipate what Easy Slash is going to do. So he instead aimed for the Semi Pore. Maybe it is the. Maybe it is the keen eye since that has since that move he used does not have perfect accuracy. I go for the rest. It's the Chesto variant. I wake up immediately and I go for the flash cannon. He did not read me at all. I read him and I got him. Next up is this gross player. He's having, I mean, he's using what it was banned from Doubles OU before the Land, Landorus, the Snorlax. He's bringing the Tapu Koko, he's bringing the Cresselia, and he's also bringing the Landorus Therian form as well. And he took the time to shiny hunt a Cresselia, but not the Landorus. Landorus, it has the Intimidate, that doesn't hurt my strat at all. Actually, I think Lanoon, it didn't have the Snarl, so I gave it Super Fang. Easy half, di half HP off on any opponent. That's not Ghost. Simple Beam, that is not a Scarf Lando. I should have noticed that before, but I missed it. That's a Rock Slide. Again, this Drift Bloom, it doesn't have the weakness policy. I need to survive, so I gave it the Citrus Berry. It's already simple. Cresselia, it has the Ice Beam. It's the second slowest Pokemon on the field. And I go for my Minimize. Three-seventh of a chance for them to hit me now. And Rock Slide is not perfectly accurate to begin with. Like I said, if I would realized it was not a Scarf Lando, I would have protected here. But I wanted to reduce its power. And I kind of anticipated the Helping Hand, so I went for the Growl to keep Drifblim extra safe. It was not scarfed or banded into the rock slide. It had it had a different item that let it switch out to superpower. It's at, now at minus two attack, minus one defense. I can't take advantage of the defense with this team, except for maybe with a shadow sneak, but Verizian comes in instead. Verizian, you recognize, should recognize it from the Star of Stall strat. It's Psych Up, it has the Sacred Sword, Giga Drain, Synthesis, Sacred Sword, that could take advantage of the minus one defense from the Landorus, except Landorus is part flying, so that would be a resist anyway. Cresselia, it goes for the Trick Room, Brizian, it's going to be faster, but the Drift Bloom is now slower. I get in two stockpiles before he can try to damage me again. And since this is two boosts that the Verizian doesn't have, I decided to go for the Psych Up a second time. U-Turn, it missed. Ice Beam, it missed. Psych Up, it's in. Drift Blim, I decided to Baton Pass now. Get in my monkey while I could. Simi Poor, it's time for the Hippie to show him who's boss. Ice Beam misses. Rock Slide actually manages to hit the semi pore, but it only does 10 damage. Giga Drain onto the Cresselia. I wanted to scope out what item it had. 
Turns out, like all basic Cresselia, it was the leftovers. No mental herb, no red card, just the leftovers. It's a tank, so it makes sense. In comes the shiny Tabu Coco. This is an Ultra Sun Ultra Moon long after the event. Ice Beam misses. I get off my Toxic onto the Cresselia. It has not shown the substitute, so I figured this was safe. Hoping Hand, Ice Beam, Trick Room, and I forgot what the fourth move was. Maybe Psychic or Psyshock. Shock. I'm going for the Giga Drain still onto Cresselia because I wanted to chip away at it with, with both Toxic and the Giga Drain. This is going to be a helping hand on the Tapu Coco. If it's an electric Z move, I'm done. I get off my Toxic. I'm slower than the Tapu Coco still. Makes sense since it should only have the ability that raises its speed. Another Giga Green onto Cresselia. And that's a dazzling gleam from the Tapu Coco. I did not anticipate an electric type attack from it. Leftovers restore some HP. Toxic, I believe it's now turn three or four. Toxic under Tapu Coco, that's one. Twisted Dimensions turn to normal. Tapu Coco is now the fastest thing on the field. It gets off the Thunderbolt. It manages to hit through the evasion. If that was a helping hand, then Simi Poor wouldn't have survived. This is the Starfberry variant. I sharply raised in speed. And I made two mistakes here. One, I went for the Sacred Sword onto Tapu Coco. I should have remembered that I was at minus one attack. Scald, not quite enough to take it out. There's the Psychic on Tavrizian, not much damage. And here's my second mistake. I forgot the secondary effect of Psychic Terrain. I was kind of panicked. I saw I was in the red. I should have recycled. Instead, I went for the rest. There's the Helping Hand. Probably wants to go for Dazzling Gleams, and so it hit both opponents. Rest is surrounded with electric terrain. Dazzling Gleam, I call that right, but both Pokemon avoid it. I go for another Giga Drain, hoping that Toxic can whittle them both down this turn. Cresselia, it has the leftovers. This could be close. Tapu Coco, it goes down. That was an easy-ish Pokemon to take out. Cresselia, it barely hung on. Landers comes back in. Both of my Pokemon are now at minus two attack. I should not be using that Sacred Sword. Unless, of course, I wanted to preserve PP on the Giga Drain. I go for a Scald. Ground versus Water. It dealt half damage. I suspected that that was an Assault Vest to Lando. I go for the Giga Drain again onto Lando. Really, really close. It's in the red, but not enough for that burn from the Scalds to take advantage. Superpower, it misses the semi poor Cresselia, it probably anticipated a psych up from the Verizion to gain that plus two speed from the Starfberry and, and went for the Trick Room, but I didn't. Either way, Landorus is going to be faster than both Pokemon under Trick Room. Electricity disappears. It's time for me to get my rest on. Snorlax, it comes in. And something interesting, Smogon actually banned Snorlax from, from their doubles OU format when it got equal in strength to Landorus Therian. Equal usage, equal tierage, equal wear and wear show, everything. I go for the rest. I forgot what move hit the semi port, but it was not enough to knock it out. Landorus, it still barely hangs on. So this Snorlax, it has the belly drum. This told me it was a... It might be a Galatina or not, but it's, since it stayed in the green, I thought this must be an immunity Snorlax. I can't poison it. And that was my big mistake. I thought that this was an actually good player that would play properly. Most players, they have an even number of hit points. So that Belly Drum drops them into the yellow. And then Gluttony activates the Pinchberry to restore them back to full health. That was a Belly Drum return stab onto Simipore that did nothing. 
Brizian. I stalled it out with the with, with the synthesis, but I didn't really need it. High horsepower, it misses. That would have been less damage. Simipor wakes up and goes for their cycle. Starfberry's back. Brizian goes for the Giga Drain. I'm still at minus two attack. I really, really considered psyching up the Snorlax to gain his offenses and use Secret Sword. I probably should have done that if I'd realized Trick Room was ending. But I guess I might as well live and learn for next time. I go for the Super Effective Sacred Sword. I go for the Scald. I didn't get the Burn. By now, I should have realized it was not an immunity. Snorlax and gone for the Toxic. That way I can whittle them down further as well as hit him with its Scalds and Secret Swords and Giga Drains. Secret Sword again. About a third. Scald again. About a sixth. I drop him less than half. High Horsepower misses. And he forfeits. That was the Dreadlock Monkey. It can really hurt.